Hello guys, in this video I will be telling answers of the next spotters along with the explanations. So let's get started. If you like our video and don't want to miss any spotters, do subscribe Dr. LabMed YouTube channel. Let's start with the next case. A 32-year-old female presented with fever, fatigue and pain abdomen. CBC reveals anemia, leukopenia, thrombocytopenia. Peripheral blood smear reveals this picture. Identify the parasite. And these were the options. If we clearly see this picture, there is a sheath covering the organism. Here we can see central column of nuclei interrupted by nerve ring, excretory pore and anal pore. The tail is tapered with no nuclei at the tip. So this is a typical presentation of sheathed microfilaria. Microfilaria is divided into sheathed and unsheathed one. Sheathed microfilaria is again divided based on tail end where nuclei do not extend up to tail tip and where nuclei extend up to tail tip. Sheathed microfilaria where nuclei do not extend up to tail tip is Vocheria bankrupti. You can remember it as a mnemonic bankrupt where there is no nuclei at the tail end. In Vocheria bankrupti, coarse nuclei is present and it is well separated. No nuclei is present at the tail of the tip and the tail tip is pointed. Sheathed microfilaria where nuclei extend up to tail tip is again divided into two types. First is when two nuclei is present at the tail tip. Example is Brugia mellii, where darkly stained large coarse overlapping nuclei are present and here two widely spaced round nuclei is present at the tail tip. So how can you remember this? Mnemonic is mal. In Indian language Hindi, mal means lots of money. So in Brugya Malai, you can see two nuclei are present. So here we can say that microfilaria is rich because of two widely spaced round nuclei at the tail tip. And the second, where nuclei is present in the row up to tail tip. Example is loa loa. How can you remember? Loa loa, L for loa, L for last till the end. So here coarse nuclei are present and tail tip is blunt here. And nuclei column is extended up to tail tip. Now coming to the unsheathed microfilaria, it is again divided into two types depending on nuclei which extend up to tail tip and which does not extend up to tail tip. So here 1, 2, 3 and 4. First and third are unsheathed microfilaria where nuclei extends up to tail tip. Whereas on second and fourth, the nuclei does not extend up to tail tip. Now let's see individually. First one is Mansonella perstans. Here nuclei is overlapping and tail tip is blunt. Second is Mansonella ozardi. Here fine and well separated nuclei are present and tail tip is hooked and pointed with no nuclei in the tail tip. Third is Mansonella streptocerca where fine and well separated nuclei are present and blunt and curved tail tip with nuclei which is also called as shepherd's crook appearance. Fourth one is Oncocerca volvulus where coarse and well separated nuclei are present and the tail tip is pointed with no nuclei at the tail tip. So if we clearly see this picture, there is a sheathed microfilaria with no nuclei at the tail tip. So it is a microfilaria and more precisely it is Vucheria bancrofti. So our final answer is option C microfilaria. Now coming to the next case. This is a quick one. What does this picture signifies? And here was the four options. So now if we can see there are two pictures here. The first picture is automated blood culture machine and the second picture is blood culture bottle. If we go to the options LJ medium, 
It stands for Lowenstein Jensen's medium used to culture Mycobacterium tuberculosis. LSS medium it stands for Loeffler serum slope and it is used to culture Corynebacterium diphtheriae. MGIT medium it stands for Mycobacterium growth indicator tube. It contains modified middle brook 7H9 broth medium for the growth of Mycobacterium tuberculosis. and this picture signifies bactec blood culture bottles it works on colorimetric method for detection of microorganism present in blood and hence it is used as gold standard method for diagnosis of sepsis so the answer of this question is blood culture bottles thank you guys please like share and subscribe to this channel take care